Hi, it's June here again from PageFly. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the Shopify fees with a dynamic Shopify pricing calculator to help you work out the costs you have to pay when using Shopify. If you are already using Shopify, it's okay. You can skip this video or learn more about the plans if you want. For those who are considering building your store on Shopify, here are the plans and fees included in each plan you should pay attention to before making a final decision. So now, let's go to the main part. First off, how many plans does Shopify offer you? Well, there are three main plans, which are basic Shopify, which costs 29 US dollar per month, Shopify 79 US dollar per month, and advanced 299 US dollar per month, which is 10 times higher than the basic. There's also Shopify Live plan, which is 9 US dollar per month, but Shopify, which is help add your product and sell it on your website or blog. About the Shopify Plus here, this is for large enterprises. So if you are running a small or medium sized store, I recommend you should focus on three main plans I mentioned earlier. Now you can see there are lots of features and categories here, but in this video, mostly we are gonna look at the key factors that can affect the cost when you run your business with Shopify. Let's look at the Shopify payment here. What is Shopify payment? It's a Shopify feature that accepts the most popular payment methods like Visa, Mastercard, American Express, etc. But right now, it's just available in some countries. So you can check if your country is on the list with the link in the description box below. The great thing when you choose Shopify payment is that you don't have to pay any transaction fee for each purchase made on your Shopify store. Next, let's look at the listed fees below. Online credit card rates will be applied when your customer purchases a product from your store online. The rate will go down from 2.9% to 2.6% to 2.4% from basic to advanced plan, each plus 30 cents. The in-person credit card rates here is when you sell offline. The additional fees here are when you use other payment providers and don't use Shopify payment. For each transaction, you will be charged a 2%, 1%, and 0.5% respectively when you go to a higher plan. To help you calculate the cost more precisely, let's use the Shopify pricing calculator. It's already included in our blog post where I put the link in the description box. You can check out and use it. Now, let's do an example here. I'm going to add my average order value here, 50 US dollar, and my number of orders per month, let's just write uh, 100, and I choose Shopify payment, yes. Now you can see, the calculator does it for you. My cost per month here, if I use the basic plan, will be 204 US dollar, and if you are in different region and want to know how much the cost is in your currency, you can use this website, xe.com, to change the currency. So here, I want to change it to Euro. It would be around 173 Euro. It's easy, right? And here, if you choose no, it will calculate the transaction fee for you right away. There is also a benefit of shopping discounts you should pay attention to in each plan if you use DHL Express, UPS, or USPS. So basically, that's how you calculate the cost for each plan. There are some optional payments you should include in the calculation if you choose to buy your own domain, buy a theme, or using apps from Shopify. The cost for all the domain is not that high, just around 17 to 30 US dollars per year. For the theme, they are mainly free 
or a one-time purchase, so you don't have to worry about monthly charges. But for apps, they're gonna charge you monthly. So please choose your apps wisely if you don't want to add up too much cost. Now, have you found out which plan fits you the most? If not, we recommend you to start with the basic plan first for a few months, then upgrade to higher plans when your business grows. Or to make sure whether Shopify can help your business or not, you can try the 14-day free trial first. I'll put the link in the description box below. You can also watch our tutorial on how to use the trial shown at the end of the video. If you find this video helpful, click the thumbs up or leave a comment to discuss more. And please remember to subscribe to our PageFly channel, click on the bell icon to get notifications on the latest PageFly tutorials and Shopify videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.